Scorpios. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is January 11th, 2019. Uh, it's a universal reading. It's universe's desire for me to uh, give you guys a status of where things are at. I was drawn to 111 today, January 11th, uh, which of course comes to the number three. Uh, for those of you who've been seeing repeating numbers, like looking at the clock and seeing numbers like 222, 333, 444, and etc., know that that is Spirit's way of guiding you to the path of your highest best good, bringing you back to your path where you are being led to peace, joy, contentment, and happiness. You see, we are walking this journey here called life. Uh, a life that is also referred to as the game of choice, right? Uh, we are, uh, sometimes we lead ourselves via our human nature into incorrect decisions. We get too focused on outward desires or obsessions. We sometimes um, lose our direction. But the number three, just like this year is a number three, 2019 adds up to be the number three. It is about creativity. It is about celebration. It is about uh, success. And uh, I can't help but notice today on 111.19 that uh, when I turned on the TV and saw it, I know that uh, Jamie Kloss was returned last night, but today... Uh, there is just this overwhelming energy of community, of celebration, uh, celebrating the fact that hope brought a happy ending. And that's what Spirit's trying to guide everyone towards this year. Okay, so it's about recognizing what we need to free ourselves from last year. Last year was a lot about interpersonal inspection and making the proper decision for our highest best good and for the highest best good of those around us and now we get to celebrate hopefully making the right decisions or at least at least create a new perspective by acknowledging old uh, obsessions all right, so I have shuffled the Good Tarot deck by Colette Baron reed and I'm going to be doing a circle spread to explain the energies that are around Scorpios today on into through the weekend and maybe on into the next few weeks. Um, these energies are just spiritual updates and may be helpful when it comes to those of you whom are questioning certain aspects of your life. All right, so in the center of the circle spread for Scorpios, we have the six of earth. So we do have success when it comes to finances, when it comes to material things. Uh, when I see the number six, this is also a reminder to make sure that you give care, help, and support those around you should you have extra in your life, right? Uh, Spirit is here to help give us what we need, but we shall not want, right? We shall be content with the blessings and give thanks to the blessings when it comes to material things and or finances. And should we have extra to make sure that we reach out and help others? All right, so that's a big message for today. Now, in your thoughts position, we have the three of water. So this particular Scorpio is in the position of celebrating some form of financial abundance. They're starting to see the success when it comes to finances, when it comes to material things in their life. Now, in the relationship sector, we have messenger of earth. So we do have, this is like the knight of coins or pentacles, a relationship with someone who may be moving slowly. This person is very patient and they take their time. It may be that there's some form of communication coming from an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, that gives this uh, Scorpio reason to celebrate. Uh, it could have to do with the fact that abundance has shown up in some way. 
Now, in the creative aspects position, this particular Scorpio is creating energies of the Queen of Earth. They are creating financial abundance and security. They are creating an environment where they just love uh, their family, their friends, their environment, nature in some way. And it may be that they are rising to a higher financial position of sorts because of the information they are receiving in relation to another. This could be in relation to co-workers, friends, family, um, you know, a connection of sorts. All right. Now, in the actions position, uh, this particular Scorpio is being guided with the major arcana, the hanged man, to really stop and think about things from every perspective now that you have received some information regarding success, security, stability. Emotionally, this particular Scorpio energy that I'm reading for this general reading uh, is receiving the aid of fire energy. So this is about things happening quickly, unexpectedly, wanting to travel, wanting to move towards a situation, an opportunity of success that they want to celebrate. But again, spirit saying, slow down a minute, Scorpio. Take some time to look at things from every perspective as you are receiving this really good information regarding finances. You're going to be on fire when this communication comes or as this communication is coming in. Now, subconsciously, this particular Scorpio is receiving the Ace of Water. So exciting new information coming in. They recognize this information. This uh, financial information is also maybe drawing them towards another. They could be subconsciously thinking about um, an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They may be receiving money from an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or someone tied to finances, and subconsciously, they are thinking of a water sign, or they're thinking about new beginnings for themselves in some way. So it could be another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, like yourself, Scorpio. Now, in your day-to-day -day aspects position, you have the major arcana, the fool. Again, wanting to hop, skip, and jump into a new direction very excitedly wanting to subconsciously create a new path in love again with what could be another water sign pisces cancer or scorpio you are recognizing good information regarding finances and you are some of you uh, maybe even trying to create a closer connection with someone who is financially and abund abundant and secure themselves but again, spirit saying, take your time, look at things from every perspective, even though you may want to quickly move or travel towards another to celebrate a particular new beginning. Wow. Now, in the inner strengths position, Scorpio, you guys are receiving the seven of earth. Okay, so you have the strength of the number seven, which is a very spiritual number to take some time and think about how far you have come who you've become, and how you are going to move forward in a more successful way. How you are going to um, share what you are creating or celebrating with another. There's a desire to move quickly, or there's information that came in quickly. But again, uh, this particular Scorpio is uh, being guided to wait and think about that forward movement first. So I'm going to clarify by bringing in the Witch's Tarot deck by Ellen Dugan. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please clarify these messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, starting today, going in through the weekend, or when it comes to any specific questions they may have. So let's see. All right, let's ask about the hangman. When it comes to the actions position, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, why is spirit suggesting that this particular Scorpio stop, wait, and think about forward movement first? 
Ah, things are moving quickly. Something's coming in quickly or this Scorpio's wanting to move quickly towards another. Now, the reason Spirit's saying slow down is because you want to make sure you're getting rid of your shadow side energy. Any old addictions to a person, place, circumstance, situation, environment, or substance before moving forward. Think about that. Yes, because Scorpio, here you are with your death card energy, feeling stuck. You know something needs to end in order for you to free yourself to move forward with and to another. So in a three-card summary, whoa. We've got karma. So it's a very karmic time. Positive changes will bring positive outcomes, which will give you exciting new things to move towards. Negative decisions, negative situations, negative circumstances will, of course, draw you backwards. See, there's a desire to come together and to connect with others in the community, society, social media. Um, and yet there's unfulfillment. Make sure you're being completely honest with another and or with yourself. You may want to go quickly towards another at this time. Now, Spirit, again, is saying with the major arcana, the hangman. Look at things from every perspective as you are connecting out with others about a passionate, exciting situation. It's okay to celebrate that situation, but remember there's a lot of energy that needs to be... Okay, wait, wait. Okay. Ah... So they're saying that your ship has come in, all right? Whatever you guys have been working on, creatively, financially, that's what this money is about. Your ship is coming in and you want to celebrate. Good. Uh, maybe you've been dragging your feet when it comes to a passionate connection. Or someone else was dragging their feet. Scorpios. I feel like this is almost a different Scorpio. There's a very passionate connection here. And uh, I think this Scorpio is recognizing how far they've come. They've been waiting for someone. It was built on just lust. They didn't know if it was going to be long term. But now there's money here, and they're thinking about forward movement. It's like there's been a complete shift in perspective, and they're starting to make some changes. Either it's you, Scorpio, or someone around you. Why? Because you, someone spoke their truth to you. Or you came to the realization of someone else's truth. Hmm. Again, there's playful energy because of financial news. But there's also painful energy because of manipulation. This particular Scorpio is trying to make a decision regarding a connection with another. And someone is looking at Scorpio or vice versa. There's indecision here. There's some form of truth that needs to come out or needs to be looked at. And the High Priestess is bringing this right in front of Scorpio at this time. Yeah, Scorpio wants a new beginning. I feel like in love. They're very passionate and excited about some sort of financial news. In the outcome position, ooh. All right, I'm feeling a few things. I feel like this Scorpio has been working really hard. They've been putting in the time. They've been working hard to create and manifest better for themselves. And now they're starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, now they're starting to maybe get 
offers of what they are worth, what they've been waiting for when it comes to money. And now they're ready to hop, skip, and jump into a new direction. There's a lot of fantasy here. Yeah. This Scorpio is trying to ground themselves. They want to give birth to something new. They may even want to connect with someone, again, who has water in their chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It's like, I don't know, the truth... I got to pull a little bit more information. What is the hanging man energy? What is the hanging man? Why? What is it they need to learn about themselves before moving forward? With this money, with this blessing, this reason to celebrate. Look at that. Wait, there are decisions to make. So the Choices Angel is flying in here from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck. And he's got a white wing and a black wing. And he's saying to the Scorpio, are you going to make a good choice or a bad choice? However that applies to you. If you make a good choice, things can work out. If you make a bad choice, eh, not so good, right? So they're saying it's important at this time to take and make an oath to yourself, Scorpio, one way or another, that you are not going to... in. Uh, in Allow anything or anyone in your path that is going to bring you the energies of complication. Uh, there is a need to move forward and have hope. Because we have a Scorpio here who wants to jump and take a risk. But uh, with the invisible energy, spiritual advice is saying, wait, just like the seven of earth before. Before moving forward, stop and think. Look at your reflection in this magical golden mirror. At the child within. What makes that child truly happy? Because if you can get back to the innocence of life, I think Spirit's saying, then there could be an opportunity when it comes to love. So something needs to be shed that is not working for you. That's making you feel stuck and trapped. It's causing chaos. And yet in the end, Spirit's saying, if you take and you learn from certain lessons, if you cut away from what doesn't serve you, then you can enjoy the playfulness of life and innocence. Something or someone has to be cut away that's kept you trapped. And then what you are thinking about when it comes to love could indeed turn out for you. Wow. So, you know, think back to 2018, Scorpio. What had to go? What didn't bring you happiness and joy? What instead kept you feeling stuck and trapped? Once you let go of that, new blessings of love and abundance, joy and prosperity is set to come your way this year. Okay, so I'm closing with one card from the Archangel Michael Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. And your word of prayer is, positive thoughts are what are going to create positive results when it comes to what you are wishing to start in your life. I feel like especially when it comes to love, but also when it comes to just forward movement in a much better way. So your prayer is divine love and wisdom. I call upon you now. I know that my mind and my emotions are eternally and continuously connected to you. I ask my higher self to be aware and conscious of the love and light that is within every person and every situation. So it's a time of love and wisdom. Let spirit guide you and then honor and trust your feelings. And you'll be guided in the right place. You'll be guided back into the path of what is best for you, where spirit wants you to go. So if you'd like a personal reading, I am available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com, and my price list is below. Uh, I'm also offering the winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and God bless.